What is your dating app horror story? My Tinder nightmare began on January 8, 2014, when I started texting a beautiful woman who I knew was out of my league. I was 52 years old and out of shape, and she was 30, college educated and so gorgeous, she made my jaw drop. Nonetheless, after a few days of texting, I invited her to join me for dinner at a very nice restaurant downtown. To my dismay, she actually accepted my invitation. I was waiting for her at the bar, and when she walked in, my jaw hit the floor. She was so beautiful, I literally lost my breath for a moment. She was taller than me in her heels, and was wearing a beautiful short dress with the most amazing amazing legs I had ever seen. She greeted me with a bright smile and a gentle hug, and we were escorted to our table. We had a very good date, the conversation flowed, and she seemed to have a good time as well. We decided to continue the date and went to a couple of bars for drinks. Finally, she said it was time to go home, and since she had taken Uber earlier, I offered to give her a ride home, and she agreed. All this time I thought that, even though the date was fun and comfortable, I assumed it would possibly lead to a friendship at best, considering the obvious differences. Well, when we got to her place we talked for a few minutes more. I offered to walk her to her door, but she declined. She then then got out and walked around to my door. She leaned through the window and planted a very brief but sensual kiss on my lips. My heart stopped. She then leaned back and smiled. I was able to stammer out an invitation to go out again, and she accepted without hesitation. I was on cloud nine. I knew that this remarkable woman would have a profound effect on my life. It seemed predestined. Fast forward a couple of weeks, she and I had been seeing each other nearly every day, and I was developing strong feelings, but something was wrong. I had a weird nagging sense that she was hiding something. Although she was being very affectionate, something just felt off. Then finally, it happened. We were out at a bar together. It was a good time, but she seemed distracted. As we were leaving, she turned to me and said, in a serious tone, we need to talk. I thought, this is it. The differences between us are too much for her, and I'm about to be friend-zoned. But nothing prepared me for what came next. She asked me to just listen and not say anything, and I agreed. She then started out by saying that she had developed strong feelings for me, but there was something that I needed to know about her that might make me want to change my mind about pursuing a relationship. My mind was spinning, and so many scenarios raced through my head. Is she married? Is she a criminal? Then I remembered a few days earlier when we were making out, and I touched her honker lightly and realized that she had implants. So I thought, OMG, is she trans? But as it turns out, that still would have been better than what came next. She looked at me, and with a tear in her eye, told me that she has stage 4 cancer. She was originally diagnosed 4 years earlier as stage 3 and had beaten it back into remission after having a double mastectomy, along with radiation treatment and chemotherapy. Now, it had returned as stage 4, and she was to start chemo again in 2 weeks. I was floored. She then stated that she would understand if I wanted to turn and run, and she wouldn't think less of me for it. My response was to to reiterate that I adored her, and I thought she was an amazing woman, and if she wanted me to take this journey with her, I would be honored to do so. We kissed, and just held each other for a while. Finally, she said goodnight, and went to her car to go home. I cried all the way home. We had a full, amazing year together. I had to go to Japan for work, and she met me there in between chemo treatments. She never cried, and was always elegant. I learned what the true definition of grace meant. We lived a lifetime in 2014. She died 15 months after we met. I am a much better man for having met her and shared in her struggle. I love you and miss you so much, Jenny.